In this video, I'm going to walk you through how OnLink can help synchronize employees from a, an HR system like Workday into JSM assets. Here I am clicking on assets and I have a few different schema def defined. I'm going to look at the employee schema. If you look at the employee schema, it has a bunch of attributes, name, contact information, the job title, manager, etc. It also has department, which is actually linked to a different schema. So I have a department schema here with a a couple of departments and uh, when we import data from Workday, we will see how this department is linked to the employee that is uh, getting created in, in this particular schema. To start the import process, click on the schema configuration and then click on import. And here, Assets allows you to create a new import. And we have provided an on-link importer that allows you to configure the import along with the necessary mapping. Here I've already defined one and I'm going to show you what that configuration looks like. When you click on configure app for any of these imports, it provides a link to the application, to the OnLink app. So I'll click on that. And here we come to the asset configuration where you can define the schema and the relevant mapping. So employee attributes is the configuration that I've previously defined. You give it a name, you select the source system. I've selected Workday, Workday source report. I've given that information. Schema is preset to employee because that's what you use to configure the configuration. And uh, under the schema, there were a few different object types. So employee, contractor, department, etc. I'm going to select employee. You can optionally schedule this run so that on a scheduled basis, the importer runs automatically and pulls new data. And then you provide a bunch of the mapping. So you have first name, last name, the same fields that you saw in the, as in the employee schema can be listed here along with the mapping to the source, which is Workday. Once this is done, you can come back and uh, you can either test it here or you can go back to assets and go to the schema configuration and uh, go to your import job to import data. So if you click on import data, the import job runs and uh, fetches the data from uh, Workday in this case, completes the mapping configuration and then loads it into assets. So here you can see the message that it is successfully completed. You can also look at the details. It says that uh, used on link. It took about a second to import uh, two entries. And uh, it also gives information on how long it took. Now, if I go back to the schema and click on employees, here you can see a minute ago about uh, a couple of entries were created. And if I click on any one of them, you'll see all the information on this particular employee along with the department reference, which was a link to the department scheme. This is how you can use OnLink to import employee data from systems like Workday. The schema that is created, the data that is created here in assets can then be used for other use cases. For example, you can use this information in a JSM portal to select which employee you are creating a ticket for. You can use that information in OnLink's post functions. So in order to integrate with any of the other systems that OnLink supports. Several use cases become now available because of this kind of a data sync.